to number 13. This, so we'll look at those last two real quick. So pharmaceutical company, blah, 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 blah. So they have a, like a quality control plan. This, this actually is one of the really frequent uses of statistics is quality control plans. So basically, here's, here's their plan. You've read this problem. You know, you know the drill. That um, they're going to look at 59 tablets, and if one or none is bad, they accept the whole batch. If there's only one or none, bad. That makes sense? So they examine 59 tablets. If zero or one are bad, then accept the whole batch. This is so you know quality control experts have to come up with different plans at factories for trying to keep quality without spending too much money on labor to look at every single product all the time. So they do that with statistics. They they say, hey, what's the chance if we only look you know, this way, that bad stuff's going to get through. And they calculate the probabilities, and so they, you know, they try to control their product without wasting too much money on labor. So anyway, so here's the plan. 59 tablets, they're going to look at them. If zero or one are bad, they accept the whole, bag, whole batch. So the probability this whole shipment will be accepted. So that's a binomial thing, right? Why is it a binomial thing? What are the two states? Well, the individual tablets are... Good or bad, right? You're going to look at, you're going to, they're going to pick up 59 tablets in a row, and each one they're going to say good or bad, good or bad, good or bad, right? So it's binomial. And so we're looking at 59 tablets, so we're going to use the binomial function. Remember how the, uh, what is it, binome CDF, right? Because we, yeah, we talked about the three different versions, didn't we? What was that? I finally realized how to say it clearly right at the end. It was, um, if it was equal... You use binome PDF, right? If it's less than or equal, you use binome CDF. And what do you do if it's greater than or equal to? Yeah. Binome CVS and then one minus the answer, huh? At the end. Yeah, did you get that? So so that was the plan. So on this one, is this one, this one's gonna be you want zero or one bad tablets. Zero or one. So that's case two, right? Less than or equal to one. That's what zero or one means. Less than or equal to one. So it's going to be case two. So I'm going to do binomial CDF. Binome CDF. And remember what goes first is the number of trials. And then the probability. And then uh, the X. So what is... The number of trials. That's the 59. That we're looking at 59 tablets, aren't we? 59 different times we're going to say good or bad. You know, good or bad, good or bad, good or bad. 59 tablets. And what's the probability each time we look at a tablet that it's bad? Yeah, that's what they mean right here when they say uh, 6% rate of defect. What that means is 6% of the batch is bad, right? No, well, we're actually doing the, the probability that it's bad here. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. I'll show you. Yeah, so if right now this is 6%, and this is less than or equal to 1. So what this will figure out, this is the chance in looking at 59 tablets, each time the chance the tablet's bad is 6%, that you'll get one or less bad ones, which will make it acceptable. Does that make sense? So type that in and that'll be your answer. How are we doing? Is that something I can say to help with that? So that's the chance at 59 tablets, each time that it's bad is 6%, that you'll get one or less bad ones, which is what they said will cause the whole shipment to be accepted. If you get one or none, one or less, bad ones. Is that good? Just hit the buttons and boom. That'll be the answer there. And so, so we got a number. What is the number there? What is it? 12.2? 12.3. 12.3? 12.3. 12.3. 12.3. 12.3. 12.3. 12.3. 12.3. 12.3. 12.3. 12.3. 12.3. 12.3. 12.3. 12.3. 12.3. 12.3. 
Well, how many places it went? Oh, four places. So point one, two, three, three? Point one, two, three, eight? Yeah. All right. And it says the company will accept what percentage? 12.38%. Wait, wait, I'm confused. Yeah, 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 that's right. Reject. Reject a whole bunch. Wait, wait, the company will accept, okay. Probably, uh, what is it probably that, that, that the whole, the company will accept what percent of the shipments? Oh, the probably that this whole shipment will be accepted. That's the chance it will be accepted. So they will accept 12.38% of the shipments and reject. Yeah, how do we do the reject? Minus. Yeah, subtract from one po and. You get point, which I can be eight, seven, six, two. Yep. So 87.62 percent of the shipments. So what's this? Um, so they're only accepting a small percentage, huh? Mm -hmm. So many of the, many of the shipments will be rejected. Yeah. yeah. Many rejected. Does that make sense? On that, see how we figured that out? So I'm confused. Yeah. You're using the 1.0 minus on the number 3. So we're using that one instead of, because you circled number 2. Yeah, no, I'm using number 2. Yeah, this 1 minus I did here is something outside of the binomial stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, yeah, good question. I see where that can be confusing. Yeah, this 1 minus I did right here is because they just asked me like an additional question after I was already done. That'd be just like if I said, hey, the chance of rain tomorrow is 20%. What's the chance it won't rain? Then you would do the rest. That's kind of what they did at the very end. Because I got my final answer here, you know, 12.38. And then they said, hey, what's the, that's accept. What's the chance of reject? And I go, oh, okay, well, that's the one minus. Yeah, so that was extra. Yeah, but I just did number two, which was not the one minus, to get my normal 0.1238 answer. Yeah, good question. Is that making sense on getting that? So 59. So what about the 3,000? Don't need it all. They're putting that in there just to throw you off, huh? They got to put it. So, yeah, they're trying to trick you on that one. Yeah. So 59 trials. I wish I'd got this. I didn't realize this one was a little harder. This is a little harder. So 59 tablets, 6% chance each time that a tablet is bad because 6% of all the tablets are bad. And you want one or less, one or none, bad ones, to accept. That's the chance of accept the whole shipment. Right? That makes sense. They look at 59 pills, and only one of them is bad or none of them. They say, hey, the shipment's probably good, and they accept the whole shipment. Is that good? Making better sense? Now that it's already due and over? <laughs> Sorry. Because huh. the last ones, if there's any tricks, they'll be the last ones. When purchasing bulk orders of batteries, yeah, same kind of thing. You know, the entire shipment is accepted if at most two. So let me. So we have our, you know, we at most two. So try to be real with that. So let me say, I got in my pocket at most two coins. What could I have in my pocket? Two or one or zero. We good with that? That's at most two, right? The most you can have is two. You could have less, right? So that means uh, less than or equal to two, doesn't it? So it's again. It's, again, case two. It's less than or equal to. So, um, so it's going to be binome, CDF, and um, what's the first thing? It's uh, number, number of trials. What's the number? How many batteries are we grabbing? 47. Testing 47 batteries. Each time, what's the chance it's bad? 2% no, are bad. That's the probability. Try, number, you're trying 47 times. You're looking at 47 batteries, 47 trials. Each time the chance the battery is bad is 2%. And how many do you want bad? Two. two or less. So that's the X value, two or less. So, and if it's, if, if you accept it. So there again, so that'll be the answer. And yes, this one's the same. What's that come out to be? Um, what do you got? Nine, One more time. Point nine three two two. Nine three two three. Yeah, and then so the company will accept. Just uh, you just move the decimal twice for the percentage, huh? Percentage just move decimals twice. We good with that? Ninety three point. And then what part will they reject? 
again, I have to do the 1 minus because that's the opposite. Whenever they ask you an opposite question, it's always 1 minus, huh? Yeah, 0 0.0677. So that's 6.77%. Or you could have just taken this number from 100, huh? Either way. Either way is good. So are they accepting most of them or rejecting most of them? Accepting most. Almost all will be accepted on that. Getting the hang of the binomial? Greater, less, equal, all that? All right.